Hello and welcome to my video. I am Dave the Estate Cleaner. I am here to talk about what I sold this week on eBay for the first week of September 2020. And thank you for coming, thank you for watching, and let's see, we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we sold this week was... That's not the right... There it is. There it is. This ammo belt for uh, uh, Nerf... Uh, a, ner a nerf gun. That's 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 exactly what it is. I paid a dollar ten for it. I listed it August thirty first, and I sold it sold it September first for fifteen dollars plus shipping. Fifteen dollars plus shipping. So uh, let's see. Okay, next. Yeah, this is uh, a hardcover book. Uh, it's a collection of H.P. Lovecraft works, and I paid a dollar for this. I listed this August twenty seventh. Sold it September first. For nineteen dollars plus shipping on that as well. So, hey, if you get a minute and you want to hit the like button, I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much. Next, okay, these are just some plastic wooden tracks I got out of a, a bag lot of uh, Thomas stuff, and this was thirty-one cents. I paid for this lot, thirty-one cents. Listed it. July 18th sold it September 1st and I got five bucks five bucks plus shipping on that one so not a killer but I've done really well with that lot all together so it's all working out pretty good so next I think there we are uh, can of jar lid I sold a lot of these I'm actually getting pretty low on these I I, I just picked a few more up at uh, at my at my antique store that someone had brought in so uh, Actually, this particular style I'm out of. I, I think I got one in my thing, in the thing, but it's not in my in my thing here. And I just picked up uh, four more of them, so I just have to get those get those listed. So okay, all right. So yeah, I paid. Let's see, I paid twenty cents for this. Listed it May nineteenth. Sold it September second. I got seven dollars and nineteen cents plus shipping. Next, I can't believe I'm out of those. That's crazy. That's just crazy. That's crazy. Waterford. This is a piece of Waterford. Beautiful. Um, you can almost tell this stuff when you find it. It. It's just the glass is is. It's usually typically heavy, and it just feels. It just. It feels that quality. You can just feel it. And if you flip it over on the bottom, typically along the edge, you'll see an etched. It'll look kind of white and etched to Waterford. Sometimes it, it they, they don't, um, well, it might look not crystal clear to me, the Waterford uh, mark. But that's because, then again, I could probably use some new glasses. So, uh, yeah, so let's see. This one, a uh, dollar I paid for this. I listed it December 19th last year, sold it. September second, I got twenty six ninety nine plus shipping. Now there there were some of these, some other ones of these up, and some of them were, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a lot cheaper. Uh, I just priced mine higher, and I just waited. It's in, you know, it took almost a year to sell, but I'm okay with that. It's little, it doesn't need anything. So, um, next, that's just me. All right, then there's this our generation. Horse. I think I, I'm not sure. I think I got this. It says I paid 42 cents, so I'm thinking I got it in a bag lot of toys, maybe at the niche. Not sure. Uh, at the thrift store, anyway. So yeah. So I paid 42 cents. Listed it August 15th. Sold it September 2nd. I got 10.99 plus shipping, and uh, I was good with that. So next, a pair of shoes. Men's Florsham, Florsheim, however you say that. I don't know. Uh, two dollars I paid for these, and these have been listed for these have been listed a long time, three years. I listed these uh, April twenty third, twenty seventeen. So they've been up three years, three and a half years. Uh, sold September second for thirty bucks, thirty bucks plus shipping on those. Next, <clears throat> these are Hall Crest Tone, Crest Tone. Um, there's hull brown drip, this brown drip stuff, and then there's ones that say crest tone. For some reason, the crest tone ones will sell better than the regular, the regular hull. I don't really know why. I don't know what the deal is on that, but uh, 
it might be the age or something. I, don't, I should probably look that up and find out. Maybe I could get an idea of why what, what it might be. But anyway, uh, let's see. I paid three dollars and sixteen cents for these. They're just the saucers, and the cups sat down in them. But I didn't have four Crestone mugs to go with, so I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, try to. I have other hull mugs, just not the Crestone, so I couldn't. I couldn't do that. So anyway, yeah. So April twenty fourth, uh, I listed these. April twenty fourth, I sold them September second, and I got twenty bucks. Twenty bucks plus shipping. So cool. All right, next. Weed Eater. I bought a bunch of these at Walmart, clearanced out. Let's see. Uh, uh, I paid a dollar piece for them when I bought them, and uh, uh, they they've taken a while to sell. I, I sell them every so often. Um, they were originally listed. I can't believe it's been this long, but September tenth, two thousand seventeen. I can't believe it. I've had them that long, but I have. Uh, but they sell every so often, and uh, yeah, is that right? Yeah, September. Yeah, 17, yep. Listed, I, they sold, this one sold, uh, this one did, sold September 3rd for 10 bucks. 10 bucks, uh, is that plus shipping? Yep, plus shipping on that. Next. All right, there it is. Uh, C.S. Lewis, seven, seven books, complete series for the uh, Chronicles of Narnia. And let's see, I paid, you're not going to believe I paid 10 cents for the whole thing. Because I, I bought them in a bag lot at my at the one thrift store where it's a dollar a bag for books, so uh, I paid ten cents for for the whole for all of them because I bought a bunch of books that day. So, all right, uh, I listed them August twenty second, sold September third for thirteen dollars plus shipping. Thirteen dollars plus shipping. Next, Mac Tools. What did I sell? What what was it? It's not Mac Tools. It's a racing set. It's not. It's a racing set from Mac Tools. Uh, let's see what it, what was the part that sold. I paid fifty six cents. Yeah, I paid fifty six cents for this. Uh, I, I paid ten bucks for the for the box for the for the whole set, but uh, I parted it out. So fifty six cents is what it worked out to with all the with the parts. And uh, let's see, uh, originally listed March twenty sixth. Sold this one on September fourth. It was actually there's a white Ford. Uh, Ford GT Shelby. I don't know if it's Shelby or not, but it's a Ford GT uh, slot car that came with the set, and I sold that for twenty dollars for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping on that one. So this ten bucks right here that you see in the middle of the screen that is that is for some other part that's in there. So all right, next. I've done pretty good with that. Next, uh, more cannon jar lids. Let's see. This one uh, twenty cents. May nineteenth. Sold September fourth, seven dollars nineteen cents plus shipping. Next, these things I had forever and ever and ever. Let's see. Uh, I paid I paid three bucks for these. Uh, yeah, a bag lot I think at the thrift store. Quite a long time ago. Yeah, the the, the listing here says uh, October 29th, two thousand fifteen. So we're looking at five years. I've had them. I I've ran all kinds of things with them, trying to get them to go away. I'll never buy another Janet Ivanovich book again. I, I, you know, it was just a thing at the time. I used to sell her books. Used to sell very well for me in the in the dark ages of eBay, um, back in the olden times. Uh, her books sold very well, but mostly she had done some romance books for uh, I think it was Harlequin. Maybe not Harlequin. It might have been one of the other ones from back, back in the way, way back. She had written some romance books, and those, those actually sold very well. This was before I think she started doing the Stephanie Plum books, which I may be the only one here. But I really liked the movie that they did with Stephanie Plum. I thought it was great. For I thought it was great. I liked it a lot. I thought it was funny. I thought it was interesting. But it got panned, so it, it they didn't make any more, which was sad. Very sad. So anyway, yeah, so five years these have been listed. Sold September 5th for $10.25 plus shipping. Uh, it, it's just a bothersome thing. They, they, they just, I don't, I th they should have sold for much more than that, but they didn't. So it is what it is. Next. And they should have sold much sooner. Okay. Uh, let's see where we're at here. Fiesta Wear. This I paid 99 cents for at the Goodwill. Uh, so I listed it October 1st last year. Last year I sold it September 5th. I got, uh, I got 1025. 
Is that what it is? Is it no, no, not ten twenty five. I got I got thirty bucks. Ten twenty five was the books. Yeah, I got thirty bucks plus shipping on that piece. That's why it took so long to sell. Uh, I had a lot of people email me and tell me I had to change the thing on the title and the description because it wasn't the color that I was saying it was. So um, I was yes. So anyway, um, looks rust orange to me. So I, I red red orange to me. I, I tried calling it rust, and somebody said I can't do that. So. Uh, uh, yeah, so red orange is about what about the best I could get close to that color. So, all right, uh, next persimmon I think was another one. Uh, I don't even know what persimmon is. It's a fruit. So, okay, so I, mean, I got thirty bucks for it. That's what all that matters. So next, all right, uh, Francis Parkinson Keys. This is a lot of books. I had these around uh, quite a while. Um, yeah so long so that I don't remember what I paid. I have zero on them. Uh, I think I had some here and some there and some in the other place and one day when I was doing things I just I just started picking and found them all and, and uh, I was and uh, put them together and, and got them listed and and uh, that was great because I listed them August 4th and they sold September 5th so for ten ninety nine. so that was plus shipping. So that was 11 bucks that I had just laying around here in different places waiting for me to to put it in my wallet and that's it's there now so next I want to take you they're li little like rubber dresses for like Polly princesses or something for Disney princesses there uh, yeah the dresses and the little princesses are down there too uh, let's see uh, okay so yeah anyway these things uh, they didn't they, they, they sold at auction uh, but they didn't they didn't pay for it so it's not paying bitter on that one so uh, that was the only one I had though this week so next all right uh, Thomas and friends there they are VHS tapes 11 of them uh, let's see I paid a uh, dollar paid a dollar for the lot one dollar one dollar for the lot I listed these uh, March March 14th sold them September 6th for forty dollars plus shipping. Forty dollars plus shipping, so that that was pretty cool. All right, next. These are just uh, the plastic canvas sheets. I, I bought a bunch of these years ago, and uh, I actually am. I think I'm down. Well, yeah, I just sold the last one. This not not now, but uh, yeah, I just yeah recently. So okay, yeah. So anyway, I paid forty two cents listed these on March 6, 2016, so they've been up like what, three and a half years, something like that, whatever, four years, four and a half years, yeah, four and a half years, uh, yeah, so, uh, but, you know, there was a, there was 11 lots, so, so they sold, it took time for them to sell, all right, uh, yeah, S they sold, uh, September 6th for 10 bucks, 10 dollars plus shipping on those, next, they're heavy. This was a large, you know, my affinity for candle holders like these, but this was a big one. You know, it's not, it's not, it look, I think. No, no, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, it's a big one. It's bigger than the other usual two inch ones that I usually get. So I paid 35 cents for this at Goodwill. It was clearance. Um, because they had it priced way too high. So anyway, yeah, and it sold, uh, let's see, I listed it though, I, I listed it August 29th, 2018, so it took a while, it took a couple years for that to sell. It sold September 6th, and I did get $15 for it, plus shipping, so, um, worth the wait to me. Next. More Polly's, let's see, uh, these are not Disney ones, I paid 75 cents, that other lot was 75 cents as well, they came in. They came together. I bought them in a, a bag of stuff, and I parted them out. So it was seventy-five cents for this. Uh, I listed it August thirtieth. Sold September sixth for twenty dollars. Twenty bucks plus shipping on this lot of little poly things. Next, it's a slide. Just a little one for a, a Fisher Price uh, loving family set, and uh, this was something else that came in a uh, bag lot of stuff. I paid 
15 cents for this slide. 15 cents, listed it July 1st, sold it September 6th for five bucks. Five bucks plus shipping. Next, that was not the first piece of the set that I thought would sell, but it, it was the first piece that sold. Uh, next. And this is a just a homeschool book from Abeka. Uh, let's see. I paid nothing for this. I'm, I, I pick this stuff up sometimes at the thrift store for free. They throw they they put them out. Nobody nobody usually wants them if they're older. But uh, from time to time, I can still sell them. Not typically for a lot, but I did okay with this one. So I listed it uh, August 23rd last year, 2019. Sold it September 7th for $15 plus shipping. $15 plus shipping. Next. Oh, little princess house glasses. They're little juice glasses. Little ones from the, the heritage pattern. And uh, I paid $2.37 for them. Listed them August 18th. Sold September September 7th for $13. 13 bucks plus shipping on those. Next. Uh, just a, 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 a slicing blade out of a blender that I parted out. Uh, let's see. Replacement shredding blade. 40 cents I paid for it. Listed August 27th. Sold September 7th for $18.99 plus shipping. Next. This is a, a Bose. A Bose power adapter. I'm not sure. I think I got it at Goodwill. Let me see. Uh, nope, 40 cents. So I paid 40 cents. So that is that it? No, 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 that's not 40 cents. No, I paid a dollar 99 for this. I paid a dollar 99. So that is that is definitely a goodwill price. I don't, I don't usually buy adapters for a buck 99, but I did, I guess. So I uh, listed it July 31st, sold it September 7th for 16.99 plus shipping, $17 plus shipping. Next. Pyrex, little Amish rooster thing. I may have sold this too cheap. I can't believe some of the prices these things are selling for now. But I'm pretty sure there was uh, there was some chips and stuff on the glass and stuff. So which I did disclose on chips on the on the on the lid, not on the other piece. I did disclose that if there are any there. Um, yeah, several small flakes on the underside of the lid. A more noticeable one on the top edge of the lid. Yep, yeah. So I, they it was chipped. Anyway, so I didn't pay anything for it. I'm not sure where this came from right now. Um, somewhere. I can't think of where I got them. Anyway, I listed it March 9th. Last year, 2019. Sold it September 7th for $20. I got 20 bucks for it, plus shipping. And that was the last thing I sold for the first week here. Uh... Let's see, my, my everything that I sold cost me $23.22. And let's see, uh, after my after the the item that didn't sell, my, my net sales for the week were $409.39. As always, that does not include eBay fees or uh, any kind of a shipping thing where I may have done free shipping or as well as uh, not the discount that I get for shipping uh, is not included in that price so that is just the net sales price on this whole thing so if you like this video please like and subscribe and have a great day thanks for watching keep listening and uh,